In today's workout, we are going to be going through an offensive attack series from the perimeter. This workout can be done by yourself. All you got to do is toss the ball out, catch it, and go through the move. In this first set, all we are doing is catching the ball, reverse pivoting, and going up with our shot. One thing I am doing incorrectly on this drill is I'm standing a little bit too straight up on my reverse pivot. I need to be starting low and staying low all the way into my shot. Now for the second set, we're going to be doing the same. Tossing the ball out, first pivoting. Now instead of shooting the ball, we're going to give a nice up fake. And my general rule with up fakes is ball up, butt down. So you're staying low so you can explode into your next move. Which is a push dribble with your left hand and really pushing that ball out so that you create space between you and the defender. You want to bring that defender up out of their stance with the up fake and then go right by him with a push dribble. Which is leading you into your shot with that right left step since we're going to our left. A lot of time players like to hop into that shot, but make sure that we're just using that one-two step with the right left to take us into our shot rather than the hop. In this drill, really challenge yourself and see how far you can get with that one push dribble. One thing you want to be weary of in this drill is to make sure you're not drifting on your shot. A lot of time your momentum is going to be wanting to take you to your left, but make sure you come into that one-two step nice and low so you can jump straight up which will increase your accuracy and shooting percentage. So for this next set, we're going to be going through some of the same motions. Toss the ball out to yourself with good pivoting. Now, we're going to throw the defense off. The jab step towards the hoop, followed up with an up fake. You want to give time for that defense to buy on that up fake, and then blow by him with the push dribble, followed up by the step back, which will create even more space us and the defense. One mistake I'm making in this drill is I'm kind of going through the motions. I'm speeding up a little bit too fast and I'm not giving my up fake enough time to be effective. You want to give that up fake, pause a fraction of a second, and explode by him with a push dribble. Now for this next set, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to toss the ball out to ourselves. Now on the reverse pivot, we're just going to go and explode by the defense with that push dribble. Make sure that you're staying low so you can drive off that back left foot. Stepping out with that right foot, get by the defense, and we're going to finish with a reverse layup or reverse dunk. Now understand that this is a power move, so you have to have a strong reverse pivot and rip through, which will lead us into our finish. So now I'm going to slow it down and show you guys the footwork and body positioning if you're going to be doing a layup on this drill. Here it is game speed. As you can see we're taking off with our left foot and finishing with our right hand. Now this is another approach to the reverse. We're going to be doing the same thing, but now you're taking off with your right foot and finishing with your left hand. Both layups and techniques are effective, it just depends on certain situations in the game. One thing to watch out for is that you're not taking off too early, because that will make it more difficult for you to finish that reverse. So for this set, we're going to counter the move that we just did. We just reverse pivoted and blew by the defense, so now we're going to reverse pivot, give a nice jab for the defense to bite on, which will give us space for our jump shot. One thing to be conscious of is to make sure that that jab is towards the hoop not jabbing towards the baseline because then the defense isn't going to back up. Make sure we give the defense a nice strong jab. Some of my jabs are questionable like that one, but what you want to do is make it a little bit more explosive, kind of like this one. What I like to do when selling a jab is to shift my body weight over my foot that I'm jabbing with. That way the defense sees my foot moving and the numbers on my upper body moving as well. This will cause the defense to react. So now for this next set, we are going to be countering the counter move that we just performed. So instead of jabbing and going up with the shot, now we're going to jab, give a nice up fake, 
wait a fraction of a second, then attack the rim and finish. Now you can finish in a variety of ways. You can take off the two like I am, or you can take off of one, you can stop short and use your floater, or you can even use a reverse on this drill. It just depends, it's up to you. I suggest going through all of them. Now get out there and get to work, and have fun implementing these new attack series in your basketball workouts. But keep in mind, I was only going through the attack series from one position. There are five different spots on the wing that you can attack from. I'm showing you the footwork and some of the spots right here. And you can attack to your right, or you can attack to your left. As we all know, the more work you put into your game, the better results you'll see. So get out there and get a ton of reps in, go into the right footwork and right body mechanics, and take your game to the next level.